What's up guys, DevBird here. In this episode, I'm gonna teach you guys a good workflow you can use to implement your uh, work from a sprite or Photoshop into Unity. And then I'm also going to teach you guys how to animate in a sprite and import that into Unity as well. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new project. So I'm gonna hit new and then I'm going to hit 2D. And I'm going to, well, I'll just get rid of this real quick. And so this is going to be my location. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to call this new, uh, let's call this, actually I'll call this uh, Unity Tutorials. And hit create. All right, so I have my Unity set up here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click under the assets and I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm just going to call this art folder. And this is where I'm going to be saving my art assets to. So let's go over to uh, a sprite and let's see what we can do. All right, so here I have my a sprite file and I'm going to draw my character real quick. And there he is. And now we're just gonna go do this real quick. Um, so this is gonna be our character here. And he is finished. All right, so here's our character that we just made and we're going to now animate him. So first things first is I'm going to hit the onion skin this is going to show us the previous frame. And then we're going to hit so, uh, view and then hit preview. And this is going to preview our animation once we get started. So I'm just going to draw some arms for him real quick. And I'm going to raise his arms in for like three frames. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit Alt N. It's going to create a new frame. And I'm going to erase his arms to raise them. And you can see the previous arms because we have the onion skin on. And then I'm going to raise them up just a wee bit. Then hit Alt N again. That's going to create a new frame. I'm just going to erase this one. And then I'm going to do the last one. And he's just going to raise his arms up a little bit. And I can hit play here in the preview. And while I'm animating, I can. Um, edit this and it's going to reflect it in real time so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so now that we have this, let's see how we can export it to Unity. All right, so the way we're gonna get this into our Unity project is we're going to go to File, then we're going to export the sprite sheet, and then this should all be fine as the default uh, stuff, and then we're gonna hit Export, and it's gonna give us our sprite sheet here. And so now we can save this and we're going to save as and then we're going to go navigate to where our Unity project is. So over here is my Unity tutorials. Then we're going to assets and go to art folder. And then I'm going to save this as a PNG. And then I'm just going to call this uh, my dude and then sprite sheet. And hit OK. And then we navigate back to my Unity project here. And then I'm going to open up my art folder, and here he is. Here's my dude. And so now I'm going to um, go from sprite mode from single to multiple, since he's a, uh, there's multiple of him. And now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to open the sprite editor. And so my original sprite size here is 64 by 64. And you can double check, you go to sprite size, and as you can see here, this is the width and this is the height. All right, so now I'm going to slice this based on the pixel size of the original sprite size here. So the pixel size is gonna be 64 by 64. So it's already um, this by default but you might have a different size. And I'm gonna slice it, oops, I missed. Slice it, and then you can see we have our three guys here. And hit apply, 
and then now we have our three sprites all split up. So here I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm going to, instead of having to create an animated controller and all that to animate our sprite, um, I'm going to click on the first one and shift click onto the last one so I can select all of them. Or you can just drag and, uh, actually can you drag? You can't. Never mind. So you have to select all of them by selecting the first one and then shift clicking the last one to select all of them. I'm going to drag them into my scene here, and it's going to ask me to make a new animation. And so for this purpose, I'm just going to do it in the art folder, but you probably won't create a special folder for this. And I'm just going to call it my dude animation. And you see here, this is our guy, and he's really small. Um, what we can do to make him bigger, well, we could scale him up, but if you see, it's a little blurry. Um, we don't want that. We're going to change the pixel per unit to 32, and it's going to make him bigger. We still a little uh, blurry here, if you see. So I'm going to change the bilinear mode to no point, and this will make it so that it's not trying to filter him. This is just what he is, I guess. And so now that we have our guy here, we're going to hit play. And you see, by automatically, he is going to be animated. So it's going to loop through his animation that we just made there. And he's going to raise his arms up. So cool. Um, but what happens if I want to change something about him? What if I want him to smile um, on f frame 2? Well, what I can do is I could make him smile like this. I'm gonna hit Control S, and it's gonna save. And I'll hit play again. And now he starts to smile on frame two. That's kind of weird though. So what if I just make him smile on all of them? Hit Control S. And it's gonna save in real time. So the reason why it's doing that is because this file here is saved directly into our Unity file. So if I edit this file, it's going to save directly into our Unity file. And so that's an easy way to edit files very quickly without having to like delete this one and then re-import a new one. You can just hit Control S in your A sprite file and it'll change. And we can do the exact same thing with our Photoshop file. So I'm gonna go into our Photoshop here so I already have one open, but let's say I want to create a icon for my character. Well, I'm going to select the right color first. It's something like this. And I'm going to fill this in real quick. And it's not pretty, but you know what? That's fine. So I have my character, and I'm going to make his eyes. Give him a smiley face. And I'm doing the exact same thing where I'm going to save as. And I'm going to navigate to my uh, project. So I have my project. And I'm going to go to my Unity Tutorials. Go to Assets, Art Folder. And I'm going to save this as a Photoshop file. Now it's important that you do that. Okay? You don't want to save it as a PNG for this specific example, anyways. Um, so I'm going to save this as my dude icon. And I'm going to go back to my Photoshop, and I have it here. And I'm just going to create a quick canvas, UI canvas image. So I have the image over here. Um, and I'm going to drag in my my dude icon. And remember, this is a Photoshop file. You can use Photoshop files um, in Unity. It'll accept that. And so I'm going to, let's say this is his icon, and it's just going to be floating the top left at all times. Um, what, let's say I wanted to change something about him. Well, let's say I wanted him to have eyebrows all of a sudden. Well, all I have to do is hit Control S to save, or you can go to File and Save. Um, and then I go back to my Unity, and there you go. He has eyebrows now. So what you want to do 
is when you work with art programs, you want to save directly into your Unity file. This will allow you to make changes on the fly. All you do is save it, and because the original file is inside your Unity file, um, it'll update in real time. So that way, you don't have to go through the hassle of deleting um, deleting your file in Unity, importing the new file, and that's just going to take a ton of time. And so this way, you can just have a really clean workflow. And that'll be it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. I'd like to thank my Patreons, Alejandro, Kovian, Bay, Emerson, Kirijo, Polybius, and Yuan. If you want to become a Patreon, you can... Uh, Support me at patreon.com slash devbird where you can join my discord or you can just join the discord um, in the link description below and you there you can uh, suggest videos or ask me questions and I'll see you guys next time.